Hi, I make this video because I realize that in my different videos I made, people are misunderstanding a principle that is very important. In few videos where I speak, I spoke about Jesus Christ, about God, about the Bible, and people are responding me in the comments or by emails speaking about religion. To me it is two different things and it has almost nothing to do with each other. I never say anything about religion. I think that the only time maybe I used this word was in the sentence when I said that to me there is salvation only in Jesus Christ and not in religion. That religion cannot help us, cannot, cannot save us. And although I am saying these things in my video, I see that most of the people are answering me, telling me, what are you talking about religion? Religion is, cannot help uh, you know what I mean? So what I understand is that when I speak about Jesus Christ, people, they do not hear the word Jesus Christ. They don't see Jesus Christ, but they think about Christianism, the religion of Christianism. And I make this video to make people understand that Jesus Christ, the person, and the religion of Christianism are two different things. Yes, there is a dominant Christianism religion in the world, which is Catholicism. Now, I'm not, I am not going to, to talk about Catholic people, so don't come email me telling me what did you say about Catholic people or what did you say about me. I am talking about the dogmas, okay, the rituals, the beliefs of the Catholic religions. Okay? Now this dominant religion in the world is based on two things. The Bible and the church teaching. Now, the problem is that many church teaching became opposite to the teaching of the Bible, which means that it took over. The teaching of the church took authority over the Bible. And they are doing things that are opposite to the Bible. These are facts. This, this is not a judgment. For a, only one example, in, in, in the Bible it is said that God does not want anybody to make idols, to create a statue and to kneel down in front of them, to bow them, to bow in front of them. But the Catholic uh, teaching have changed that. And if you go into a Catholic church, you will see a lot of uh, um, stone statue, and people are praying for them. God in the Bible say it can you cannot it is forbidden to pray the dead, and the teaching of the Catholic religion uh, is allowing this. So what I am this is not. A video against Catholicism but what I understand is because Catholicism is representative of Christianity I think in the world most of the people when they hear about Jesus Christ they have this religion in mind and I want you to, to know that Jesus Christ has teaching 
not only completely different but opposite to Christianity to this Christianity so if you are interested in spirituality or in religion I can advise you to take a Bible and even start to what seem easy to read like a gospel to see exactly what Jesus did and what Jesus said and you will be amazed to see how uh, how he, be he behaved and what he said to the religious people of his time because when he came he spoke to the Jewish people of that time who received a religion who received laws few hundred years uh, uh, before and he spoke very harshly to those people who were not although they were religious and keeping everything by the letter they forget they forgot the spirit of it so I advise you to read at least a gospel to know what Jesus did now to clear up this I just want to say to you that there is a big difference between spirituality and religion it is op it is completely different I would say now when I speak about Jesus Christ forget about religion forget about uh, Christianism Catholicism Protestantism it has nothing to do with it when I speak about Jesus Christ I'm speaking about somebody who is a person who is alive today, who was a historical figure, who, was, who lived on the earth, who was crucified under Pilate, and who rose from the dead. And now, today, he is alive and he can help us. This is what I'm talking about. Now, what, what I believe about Jesus Christ spiritually is that, as the Bible said, every man has sinned, has done bad, and the consequences of sin is death. And Jesus, who was pure, died on the cross for us. And if we believe in him, in, in this sacrifice, if we believe he is the, the, the one who is sent from God, and turn away from our sin and obey God we are saved we can have a fellowship a relationship with God having all his blessing and we'll spend our eternity with him this is what I believe spiritually about Jesus Christ